What's good, YouTube? Flash Speaks back. Another video. Listen, man. Um, so I just I just heard, just reached me, that the Dallas Cowboys have signed Dak Prescott. Four years to forty. Sixty million dollars a year. Two thirty one guaranteed. Mm, 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 mm. And as a fan. I'm actually happy about it. Because while Dak Prescott, you know, I must say has been a good competitor for the Eagles. He actually has a very good record against the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, I'm of the opinion that much of that came as a result of defensive coordinators that the Eagles have had over the last eight years since Dak Prescott has been here, who really were not very impressive defensive coordinators or either the coordinator was all right but he didn't have the pieces he needed you know somewhere somewhere around there the coordinator who did the best against him that we had was Jim Schwartz he did the best against him and um his record against Dak isn't isn't really bad though during the Schwartz years we he was had a lot of bad teams you know during those years there was a lot of turnover flipping and changing things up a lot because the Eagles don't seem to have a lot of tolerance for things that are going wrong for, you know, not a very long time. Uh, since then, you know, we had guys like Jonathan Gannon, who was horrible, and then last year, Sean Desai, who was horrible. So um, now we have Vic Fangio, who is a guy that I'm impressed with. Like a lot of people think the Eagles defense was so horrible. Like, I don't think so. Um, you know, I'm not like a lot of y'all, like what I look for with a defensive coordinator, right? I'm not ultimately looking at, okay, how many yards they give up? Okay. How many points they give up? Like yards and points do matter, but I look at stuff like, um, does my defensive coordinator assign the proper defensive personnel to the proper offensive personnel? Check. I think, uh, Vangio did a good job of, of doing that. Um, now, the problem we had with this past game was uh, the, the we had to make a change at the slot corner at the last minute. Um, our cornerback situation is set up this way right now. We're starting Darius Slay. Um, Isaiah Rogers is going to be um, the it's going to be Darius Slay. I'm sorry, and Quinn Yon Mitchell who started. However, the plan was for the slot corner to be. Quinyon Mitchell and for Isaiah Rogers to play that right cornerback when, um, you know, in nickel and dime packages and, and you know, that sort of thing. However, uh, Dominique Rogers was out with an injury. So the inside, we went, fell to um, Avante Maddox, who did not have, you know, a particularly good, good game, which is somewhat disturbing because. You know, he's probably the guy we have with the most um, slot corner experience. So that wasn't too encouraging to see him not have, you know, a good a good game like that. Um, however, I think that adjustment will be made. Uh, the initial plan is for Isaiah Rodgers to go out there be on the outside, Quinion Mitchell to be on the inside. I think there may have been a different outcome, especially when it came to the Jaden Reed, had we been able to do that. Okay. Um, secondly, you know, we have a safety named Sidney Brown, who's coming off an injury, who's going to be coming back. I don't know that Reed Blankenship is going to continue to be the, um, free safety out there, even though he was not horrible yesterday, he did come away with an, with an interception, but going forward, I don't know how much I trust Reed Blankenship. Uh, Devin White also did not play as well. You know, which he's a major piece, a major cog to our defense. So people have to take those things into consideration. That Eagles defense that you saw is not the team that you're going to see all year. So all in all, um, I like the way that Nick Dick, um, Nick Fangio was assigning the proper personnel to the proper offensive personnel. And then secondly, um, I like the ability that he has to fool a quarterback you see that's what i like in a defensive coordinator make a quarterback think and wonder 
What is this? How do I decipher this? Confuse a guy. Because even quarterbacks that can read defenses can be confused by a good uh, defensive coordinator. And I thought he did a pretty decent job, uh, all things considered, especially with the opinion I have of Jordan Love. I hold him in very high. Um, I have a very high opinion of Jordan Love. And I think that he did not scorch us in ways that I've seen a number of you know, quarterbacks do. So with that, you know, I'm I'm encouraged by that just being the week one. You know, uh, going forward, of course, you got to tighten some things up. But I said some personnel was missing. I think defense is going to be fine. So I'm not worried about Dak Prescott. And as far as Dak Prescott being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, I am all for it, Jerry. Four more years, absolutely. That is four more years that I can guarantee that the Dallas Cowboys will not hoist another Lombardi. You know? Um, that's what's up, Dad. Congratulations to you, man. And um, I know you better not you better not go out there and lose to them Browns right after, right on the day you signed all that money. And that defense ain't gonna be sweet. So we gonna see. We gonna see. In a few minutes, so. All right, Dallas. Peace out.